Hello dear friends, this is Dr. Muhammad Ramanud Islam. Welcome to my channel. In my previous video, I have shared various videos on column absorption models. These videos have been very popular. Therefore, in this video, I would like to show you how to carry out column absorption experiments. This video is very important, so please do not miss it. Well, at first you need to select experimental conditions and typical experimental conditions would be column internal diameter 1.1 cm, column or bed height 50 cm, bed mass or absorbent dose 4 gram, flow rate 10 mg ml per minute, absorbent here I have shown cadmium initial feed concentration C not equal to 100 mg per liter. E is of the feed solution is feed height. Temperature is easily a room temperature. Then here is a typical experimental setup for polar absorption study where this is peristaltic pump and this is the plant tank where pollutant is heat here. Here I have heat cadmium to solution. Then with the help of peristaltic pump solution goes here. Here zinc oxide clearginate bits have been used. Then packed column. Then treated water comes here. So this is the typical experimental setups. Now procedure. At first a stock solution of cadmium 2 was prepared with 1000 mg per liter by dissolving cadmium nitrate in double iron distilled water. Then the solution was diluted to the required initial concentration of 100 mg per liter and pH of the prepared solution was 5. Then the absorption column is a glass cylindrical tube with cross sectional area of 1 cm square and uh, 50 uh, cm length. And adsorbent was packed inside the column until the desired bed height and mass is attained. The packed column was keep stable by fixing a fiber glass wool at full layer at the top and the bottom of the packing to keep constant mass of adsorbent during the experiment. Then the solution was introduced into the column at a constant flow rate by a peristaltic pump with the use of a bulb and flow meter fixed at the entrance to the column. And the flow rate was controlled at 10 ml per minute for all experiments with a superficial velocity of 10 cm per minute. The effluent samples were collected at specified intervals and analyzed for the residual cadmium to ion concentration using a flame absorption spectrophotometry. And column studies were then terminated when the, concent when the column risk exhaustion. Well, the dynamic behavior of column is explained by concentration time profile or breakthrough curve. The time of breakthrough is the time when the outlet absorbed concentration is equal to the certain fraction of initial concentration that is 50% breakthrough take place while the outlet concentration is 50% of the initial concentration that is Ct by C not equal to 0.5 and Pt equal to T5.5 and breakthrough curve is usually expressed as Ct divided by C not versus T graph. Finally, Column absorption parameters such as T to the M to the Q and C T are calculated 
is in various situations which has been explained in our previous videos. So this is how we can easily carry out column absorption experiments. And these are the references uh, from where most...